Theo Greeting. I'm Sherry Sorensen, Regional Vice President for the University of Phoenix. Joining me in leading the ceremony today is Yvonne Phelps, Associate Vice President of Academic Affairs for Axia College of University of Phoenix. It is our pleasure to welcome you to your commencement ceremony. And to our family and friends watching worldwide through webcast technology, we welcome you as well. Graduation day is always exciting. It is the day we make a visual, rather than virtual, connection with one another. And while virtual connections have served us well, it is special to actually meet one another face to face. So I welcome our graduates, the families and relatives, and our distinguished faculty to these commencement ceremonies at the University of Phoenix Stadium. Connecting with others has never been so easy. We are a connected society, from text messaging, podcasts, blogs, Facebook, to of course, tweeting on Twitter. Staying connected can and has become a full-time job for many. I think we've all heard the tale of the California teen who sent more than 14,000 texts in one month's time. And while that's somewhat beyond comprehension, Nielsen Rating Service, who has added monitoring cell phone and internet usage to their repertoire, reports that the average teen text messages almost 2,000 times per month. And of course, we have Ashton Kutcher, who boasts more than a million followers on Twitter. Yes, I do have to admit, staying connected certainly appears to be an easy task. Or is it? I don't think I need to tell this impressive group of graduates that connecting is the easy part. Communicating, once you make that connection, is the hard part. And that is where you graduates have the upper hand on texting teens and possibly even the popular Mr. Kutcher. During the course of your degree program, you have been honing your skills to the point where you are connecting and communicating effectively and efficiently, a talent that the majority of society has yet to master. Logging in, posting discussion questions, responding to your faculty member as well as other classmates, communicating with learning teammates, and yes, communicating through learning team disputes has equipped you with the skills required to work in today's workplace. From the moment that you made your first connection with the University of Phoenix, you started on a road that will change your lives forever. Even in this economy, or perhaps it would be better to say, especially in this economy, a college education is vital. The Bureau of Labor Statistics tells us that three quarters of the fastest growing occupations require more than a high school diploma. And yet, just over half of the American population has taken their schooling beyond high school and less than one in three Americans have earned bachelor's degrees. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, those with associate degrees are expected to earn $400,000 more in their lifetime than those with high school diplomas. Those with a bachelor's degree or beyond are anticipated to earn approximately a million dollars more in their lifetime than their counterparts with a high school diploma. And in economic times like these, the chances of connecting to a good job with a degree are much greater than for those without higher education. To compete at any time, but most especially in this economy, you must have all the advantages you possibly can, and a degree is the advantage employers want. A college degree demonstrates a capacity for learning and self-discipline. And a degree from the University of Phoenix indicates that you can manage multiple priorities. You can work full time. You can be a spouse, a parent, and a contributing member of society, all while going to school 
and enhancing your lives and the lives of those that you love. A degree from the University of Phoenix online campus further indicates that you are ready, willing, and able to make the connection between learning and doing. It is a clear indication that you have the skills required in this wired, connected world to communicate and work with team members on projects. You have the ability to conduct online research to find answers when you don't have the information at hand. And it also shows that you have the ability to connect the dots, to take that information, apply it, share it, and create new knowledge. These skills are invaluable, and I salute you. We all salute you. Before I leave you, I would be remiss if I did not take a moment to recognize the people who helped you get here today, the family and friends who encouraged you, and yes, perhaps even nudged you a little bit when it was needed, but who most of all supported your decision to pursue the dream that we celebrate today. Let's hear it for the husbands, wives, children, friends, partners who are here to share this celebration with you. Finally, I encourage you to keep the connections and communication that you have established with your classmates. You have shared a lot of hard work and even some pain. Now stay in touch, share some of the fun and some of the success together. Now, I would like to present to you our keynote speaker, Brent Rasmussen. Brent is the president of Career Builder North America, the leader in human capital solutions. In his role, Brent oversees the day-to-day -day operations of both CareerBuilder.com, the largest online job site in the U.S., and CareerBuilder Canada. He plays a central role in the strategic direction and ongoing growth of the company's North American business. Brent is a nine-year veteran of CareerBuilder. In his previous role as COO and Senior Vice President of Sales, he was responsible for the sales, customer service, and corporate marketing functions of the company. Under Brent's direction, CareerBuilder developed a variety of new products and enhanced its sales channels, which had a direct effect on CareerBuilder becoming the industry leader in five short years. Pulling from his years of extensive research and experience, Brent is an employment expert who regularly appears on national TV and radio, as well as addresses a variety of industry forums to discuss topics such as the state of the job market, hiring practices, and a multitude of workplace issues. He also serves as president of CB Cares, an internal group that supports career builder, not-for-profit work, and is a board member of DONCA, a nonprofit organization that provides no-cost computer training and job readiness services to persons with physical and visual disabilities. Prior to joining CareerBuilder, Brent served as manager of business services for Xerox Corporation, where he worked for nine years. He recently completed his MBA from the Northwestern University Kellogg School of Management while working full-time and raising two young boys with his wife, Jill. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Brent Rasmussen. Thank you, Sherry, for that uh, kind introduction. Faculty, distinguished guests, parents, family, friends, and most of all graduates, thank you for allowing me to spend some time with you this morning at your graduation and your commencement. As Sherry mentioned a few years ago, I also I completed my MBA, and I know the pride, the relief, and the amazement that you're feeling this morning, probably most of all the relief that you're feeling this morning at graduation. But I also know that it took a lot of time. A tremendous amount of sacrifice, hard work, and determination got you there. And I'm sure many times you wondered what you got yourself into. It reminds me of a story.